guess what? It's the end of the month. September is over. And that means favorite time. Also means that Halloween's coming up and I am a freak for Halloween. I can live the 31 days of October in different costumes. I do, I, I really love. So yeah, let's get started because I have a bunch of stuff and I don't wanna keep you guys like, oh, bored. Number one. Um, I found this product at Grand Turk on my last cruise that I went on vacation now. And I'm in love with it. I mean, this is the Rich Makeup Removing Milk. And it's amazing. And it's just like the Lancome one. And I love it. I really do. And it's just a shame that we don't have this on, in the States. Because I don't think we have any type of milk sort of thing at the drugstore. I, I only think we have like Lancome and like high-end brands and this is really good and it take off all the makeup like no residue stays and like it takes it off and it's so moisturizing and you don't have you don't even have to rinse after so yeah that's definitely my month favorite um second one uh my Noxzema uh deep cleansing cream remember i bought this i show you i showed you guys on my um one of my hauls, whatever. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because it's minty. And I was kind of like, uh, this is gonna burn my face. I'm really sensitive and all this stuff. But no, this is a creamy balm cleansing type of thing. Um, it really helps my skin, improves a lot. Because uh, I have some blemishes, you know, all over my chin when it's the time of the month. And yeah, this really helps and it doesn't burn. The smell is good. I mean, it's minty. And it removes makeup, which is awesome. Even though I don't take my makeup off with this. Whatever it's left, it comes off on with, the, with this. So yeah, definitely my favorite. And this was like $2 at the travel part aisle whatever you want to say from cvs so that was just so cheap and it it lasts me a lot because i've used a lot so yes my favorite another one for the face okay this is my neutrogena neutrals uh moisturizer uh with the uh, vitamin vitamin b c e antioxidants omega whatever 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 this is organic I used the facial cleanse before. Eh, okay, but you know, it's just a cleanse. It doesn't do anything else, but it's just a soap and cleanser. And this is so good. I have combination to oily skin, so some moisturizers are just too much for me. And if I get like a super light one, it doesn't do anything. It's just like I'm using some baby... Uh, lotion or something like that. So this I believe Does the job for my face. It's just the right amount of moisture and it doesn't make my skin oily and It's re really refreshing. I don't know why it's just it feels refreshing and it smells like baby lotion Oh my god. I mean, yeah It's it's down to here to this line. You can see, you know, you can't see but yeah, I've used I mean, I have this for a long time because I don't it's just a pea size. You just, you know, enough for your face. Well, for my face. So, yeah. The Neutrogena Neutrals is my favorite. Okay, enough with the face. I'm going to do makeup now. Because I only have a few. And then it will go to hair. Okay. My favorite mascara. I totally abandon all the mascaras I have. All the combination I used to do. Uh, all the mascaras. Like, I... I haven't been in love with the mascara for such a long time and this is the L'Oreal um, False Fiber Lashes. It's the black with the gold, not all the gold one, you know, the, the other gold one. That one I find it clumpy, it, it's just a mess. I like it but it's just like, oh, this one is just amazing and 
it's a build up mascara which I like a lot and the the spool the brush whatever you want to call it, it's just I don't know I don't know how to talk about brushes like this but I like it a lot I've been wearing this non-stop day night simple makeup caked up makeup whatever makeup this is amazing it's fiber mascara which means volume and bah, lashes I'm all yuck anyway so okay oh, okay my Laura Mercier Tinta Moisturizer dear of my heart I forgot that this exists I have two in my drawer and then I was just so caught up on my BB creams that I I don't know I even forgot so over this vacation I got a little tanner as you can see not much I was more before but and then I, I don't know I didn't want to wear makeup or stuff like that so this is just the right amount of coverage that I wanted and it's in the color almond which is tanner than my face I never put the same color on my face even even when I'm pale white and I mean, I I love this one. This is my first and best tinted moisturizer. I bought Physicians Formula Tinted. I mean, not comparing with this one because this is a high end brand. But yeah, that one was water, and the other one I had was Benefit. Ugh. I'm not gonna talk about that because I totally hate that one. So yeah, this one it's definitely. It's almost gone. Definitely my favorite again this month. You know, things you rediscover in your own makeup collection. So I shop a lot on in my own bathroom. Uh, another one is my Revlon Brow Fantasy. I, I've used this forever. Forever. So, because my problem with this is the, the pencil, it's so small. It's so short that I feel like... Of course, I run out of this way before I run out of the, the gel because, I don't know, it's just, it should be bigger. This is the right amount, but this should be bigger, you know, because, oh my god, this product, it's amazing. This color is the, the blonde, the dark blonde, I think it's the lightest one that I, that they have because, duh, I'm blonde. Anyway, so, yeah that's that's how I do my eyebrow I just fill it up and brush it out and out the door literally because my eyebrows now are perfect because they were like a comma before like Pamela Anderson style and I thought it was the hottest shit in town and I don't give a crap anyway so favorite last makeup Product. It's my Neutrogena Shine Control. Uh, who talked about this? Um, I think, I don't remember. Uh, Nicole Guerrero, whatever her name is on YouTube. I love her. Love her. And I see her talking over and over and over about this. And I could never find, girl, I can never find this product ever. And this is just a translucent powder. White powder. And it's just... It's shine control. Not like that, but I do it like this. Normally, I do it with my uh, powder brush, but I just don't want to go get it. And then, yeah, but yeah, this is really good. I don't use uh, powder that much because normally I use my matte foundations and airbrush foundations. And yeah, this is definitely favorite of all times. I haven't yet to find. A product like good this is good this is a good product so it does the job check okay hair yeah. um you know me I love my dry shampoo because I don't wash my hair every day because blah 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 and in this cruise Jesus Christ I wasted my hair for seven days I wash my hair every single day and I felt like ah oh, it's such a shame I mean I don't know my hair is so thin and so, I don't know, <laughs> I don't like it. I just think it's just like, it's a shame. It's like I'm wasting my hair. But, um, 
the product that I like the most right now. It's a product that I loved before, but you don't see the difference until you need to see the difference, if you know what I mean. For example, I went to a cruise, I went to the beach every day, to the pool every day, it's sun all the time, and I put a lot of products in my hair. Uh, when when it's sunny, when it, I'm, I'm out to the beach and summer things, a lot of products, like a lot of um, leave-in conditioners and protectors and all the shebangs so I can like brush my hair when I get out of the water. Anyway, so, well, I had to wash my hair every single day and Aussie was the savior, if you know what I mean. I mean, this was a miracle for real. Like, I'm not like, oh my God, everybody knows this. I mean, everybody used this. This is like $3, duh, hello. But this is really, really good like, when you really need it. Like, my ends were like fried from the sun, like fried. And if you notice, my hair is even lighter than before. And trust me, I, I didn't do anything to my hair. This is my natural color. You see, I don't have roots, girl. This is my hair. Can you see? I, I'm in love with my hair. I haven't had my natural hair color in such a long time that I am enjoying it. Anyway, so, yeah. This is definitely, for sure, and with the reason, my favorite product of all the products this month. This saves me. Like, it made my hair look alive again because after the sun so definitely after sun after pool after the beach yeah this is it's a miracle bah! anyway so then as i said i put a lot of products in my hair so it protects it protects it from the sun from the salt water from the pool from whatever and this triple nutrition from garnier i've used this before a lot like a lot and then no uh, no I just kind of forgot about it and <laughs> in this vacation I this product is amazing I don't know what it does but it makes the hair like I don't know it quote coat the hair from the sun I guess I don't know in the salt water I use this month for this purpose but I I like it in a dry hair, like when you're not doing anything to your hair, just spray it a little and brush it through and just let it dry because it's kind of oily, but don't doesn't leave your hair oily. I don't put on the roots anyways, but it doesn't leave the ends oily or anything, but yeah, this is really good and I love the smell of it. It's like avocados and I don't know, shea or something. Yeah, this is definitely favorite for the sun. Uh, protection yeah so another favorite I love dry shampoo you all know about it and I'm always searching for the perfect one and I love the suave products lately especially the keratin uh, line that they have and then I decided to buy this one and girl I'll tell you that the best dry shampoo ever it doesn't make my hair crispy and opaque yet makes it white not that much and I don't know it looks like I just washed it I mean if you have your hair like three four days out of shower you know you need to have you need to wash it this is not gonna work but you know second day of course, but even though when I, uh, let me see what I did. I curled my hair and then I just used it. Like, I don't know, to lift it up or anything. And it smells so good. And it makes my hair shine a lot. So a plus to this product because it doesn't make my hair look like opaque. Like, I don't know, it looks fried. The other a dry shampoo looks, I don't know, because my hair is lighter now. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this one, it's really good. I really love it. Favorite. Okay, last but not least, another hair product. I use this line a lot. I'll show you. This is the, the Brazilian Keratin from Nunat. Like this. You can go to the website here. It's www.nunat.com. 
I don't know. I've never bought anything on a website, but probably you can find product uh, their products there because I find this product at Walgreens, my Walgreens down the street. Because here in Miami, there's a lot of um, Hispanic communities and the Brazilians too. So, therefore, we have access to more of those products here. And, you know, hopefully you have it in your city too because this is awesome. I use, excuse me, I use the shampoo, the deep conditioner, the hair mask, which it's this big, it's amazing, and the keratin. This is liquid keratin. And this is what I do. Wash my hair normally, not necessarily with the same products, but if you do, better. Wash my hair and then I just like pour this in my hair, like when I need the most, for example, today. And it's shiny, beautiful, and I just air dry, like so I can make the video. Anyway, so yeah, I just pour it in my hands and then massage it through the whole length of my hair and then also I just dump it in my like in my brush in my hair brush and then brush it through so we can get it like in it like inside the hair and in the beginning you're gonna feel like a little sticky and drier like a gel kind of thing and then when it dries your hair is just look it is just so soft and I don't know this is uh complete recon reconstruction and sealant so normally when you want to seal something you do you use this blow dry your hair and then um flat iron it but i didn't do it i just wanted like you know a little more body and um um the best thing is that it makes my hair flexible like i mean flexible and yeah, I use this a lot, and sometimes I forget I have it, as always, because I buy so much. It smells delicious, and it's the right amount for your life here. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite products for my hair to this day. So yeah, guys, um, this is it for my favorites of September, and I hope you had an amazing month. I had an awesome September. It was my birthday, my husband's birthday. We went on a beautiful vacation, and I'm still editing the video, so I'm going to post here soon my uh, cruise vlog, which is awesome. I mean, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, um... This is it for this month. I uh, will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.